Well guys, we just landed in Indy, and I gotta start off this video with the winner of yesterday's turbo giveaway. So this is from the purchases from yesterday. We have Don C from Youngsville, North Carolina. Remember guys, you can buy anything off PlaceMcFraud.com. If you buy it today, we put a random turbo in a random order every single day of the month of freedom. Dude, it doesn't seem like Don's picking up, man. Come on, Don. Is this Don from Youngsville? Oh. Bye. This is drag pass. Is this Don from Youngsville? It is. This is Cletus. Uh, Brother, I can't shut up. I'm trying to tell you you want a turbo. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he died, he dramatic pause. Don? Dramatic <laughs> pause. Don, you there? <laughs> Brother, he, he bought one thing. One item. It doesn't matter, dude. You buy one item or ten. It's a random order every day we're putting a turbo in. And you just happen to be that guy today. <laughs> Listen, Don, you got to pick a turbo. You want a 64, a 76, or an 88? Escalade with a 6-2. Dude. <laughs> James said 88. 64. Don, Don's getting a 64. He says, sorry, Jackson. All right, buddy. Well, thanks for placing an order on CleaseMcFrawn.com. We'll see you later. See ya. So, guys, if you come out to Indy tomorrow or Sunday and you buy merch here in person, you still get entered for the Turbo Giveaway. But, guys, that's enough talking. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Hey everybody, your boy Cleeter and George, and today we are taking the Cub over to the east coast of Florida to get some freaking mods for this puppy. Give her a little more pep. George, are you ready for some adventure? Brother, I was born ready. I know you were. We do our magneto check and we're heading east. Oh, Cubsky Doodle. Little Cubsky Doodle, brother. She Get there just, in no time. She'll make it happen for us. There we go. First thing first, we gotta stop getting some fuel. They're a little slip, slipping and a dipping right here. A little drift in that thing, you know what I'm saying? Sure. tire marks over this runway. Oh, look at that brand new runway, brother. Oh, dang, Arcadia stepping it up. And if only I could spin the tires, I'd do a burnout. Hundred and one bucks to top her off. All right, so next stop, we're gonna go to a friend of ours, airstrip out east by Lake Okeechobee, and we're gonna get us a propeller. All right, brother. Well, I think I guess we better take off into the wind and then turn around and head east. Is it six, 61 miles? 71. Oh. No, I'm showing 61 miles. Okay. You might still have your uh, your GPS set for the shop. All right, so we need to take a mental note of how hard this puppy pulls on takeoff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to try and feel that out. And then I'll look at the RPM, and then we'll have kind of a baseline. A butt dino. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna put my head back. And you're gonna floor it. Okay. I'm just gonna remember. You, yeah, you just gotta remember really closely. And then describe it in great detail to the GoPro. Okay, get ready to make that mental note. I'm gonna go from a stop. I'm at 1200 RPM. She's 
only spent about 2,400. And we're already airborne. So about 2,400 on takeoff in this prop. Okay, okay. Alright, for data purposes, straight level at 2,350 RPM. We're going exactly 100 miles per hour airspeed. And you're keeping this thing nice and level, dude, I gotta say. Dialed in. Do you need any trim? Fired up. Now we're good. So we got what here, a FX3? Damn. Oh, there's one on floats back here. Oh, man. All right, so we're here at my buddy Chuck's place. Got an R44. Damn, this is bad to the bone. <laughs> and check out that, dude. This is, I think this is the X Cub. Yeah, it's the X Cub. This is like the big dog. Holy crap. This thing's so sick, Chuck. Disregard all these cool airplanes. We're going back over here. You know, so. Oh, yeah. It's substantial. All right, so this is an 80 by 50. 80 by 50. 80 being the diameter. Yeah. 50 being the, the pitch. The pitch. And in and, and theory, if it makes a revolution, it travels 50 inches across the ground. Ah. Wow. So, okay, so this is an 84 by 42. 42 and a half. So 42 is... That's less inches though. Correct. Correctly. So you can spend more RPMs or pull it harder. Ah. So you said roughly about 20% more oomph? We did in, in testing, it was 20 to 25% better takeoff every single time going from that to this. Oh, but yes. we lose 10 mile you're per hour lose cruise. About 10, you're going to lose about 8 to 10 miles an hour. Well, we don't care about cruise. We're here to take off. You know We're here I mean? for torque. We're here for the torque. <laughs> it's there. And if I take off with this prop, I can stay wide open throttle and basically You'll never, cruise it. Yeah, that was designed to stay at 2,700 wide yeah. open. That that's going to get that'll probably get 2,850. So this this prop here will go past red line if you just stay wide open cruising. Right. So I got to be more cautious with this prop. But same brand, just different pitch yep. and diameter. Yep. Kato yep. propellers. Yep. So. Chuck is kind enough to let us borrow this propeller to try it out because you can order so many different propellers hit him up he's like yeah you can buy, try it out and then you know we'll see if this is the proper prop don't like that is don't drop it pretty light oh wow that's I thought that heavy. would be a, a pretty heavy product there no it's uh, actually uh opposite of the wood there's some wood in there oh yeah <laughs> hell yeah i was actually joking about that on the flight over i told him it's a wood prop it he's is. like no way and i, was I mean the good thing if you hit something with it, you tear up the props out of your motor you know Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good thing to think about. Yeah. So you just take this uh, nose cone off. Spinner off. All right. The spinner. Old Phillips head. Yeah, you know. Doesn't get never much fails. more simple than that. The old Phillips head. <laughs> Do we disconnect the battery, or is it good? No. Oh, oh look at that. There she is, dude. We'll get rid of this uh, safety wire weight reduction. Yeah. What's up with three blade props? Is that worth it? What's it? Right there. So the replay prop is good because you get more ground clearance. Well, you know, it pulls hard, but it's got a um, it's got a harmonic to it. Oh yeah, I've heard about the vibration. And, and, and you have basically got to sit there and clock it on your airplane to get it, and it still has a just a buzzing yeah. noise to it. That... Nope. Oh, piece of cake. Don't, don't put it on upside down, dude. A lot easier than changing the gear in the car. Yeah, a lot easier than changing your rear gear out. <laughs> a lot cleaner, too. I thought this was going to be a lot harder. All this spare time, now we can just test it out. Now we can just fly Chuck's airplanes the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, what well, are we torquing these babies to, Chuck? 35. Oh. This is basically the equivalent to putting nitrous on your plane without putting nitrous on your plane. Get the whole way on there. Yeah, I'm lined up on my bull holes. Push it in there again. Push it a little harder. 
this at you flying mine, I fly yours kind of party. That's what I, well, when he asked me, you're flying mine, I said, yeah, I was kind of hoping that was the deal. I'm gonna fly that float plane, dude. Look, there's a pond right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chuck's gonna take it up, make sure it's good. I want to see a nice, crispy takeoff and a short landing, all right? Let her rip. Damn, that's a big prop. Oh, that's a propeller right there, brother. That's sweet. It looks so much wider. That's a good bit wider. We're about to see firsthand the actual short takeoff yeah. capability. First time I've let someone fly this thing, but I mean, it's like, how do you tell them no? <laughs> Yeah, this is a guy with thousands of hours in a carbon cup. Sucker oh. rips! <laughs> We're out here modding airplanes, man. Hell yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Definitely the shortest takeoff the Cub has ever done. That he was didn't even sweet. Think twice about it. He's coming from the side. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was silky. That was real silky. Just peeled it off the ground. What a unit. Peeled it off the ground. Oh. Oh, the butter. <laughs> that was too buttery. Dude, this thing is a Yeah, man. Holy crap. Man, that was sweet. That was a silky smooth landing, too. I think flies good. Feels good? Yeah, it feels great. Good. It's a nice light plane. Yep. Doesn't have a lot of options. No, you got, you got a lot of fuel in there, even better. Yeah, it's a lot of fuel right now. You don't even have to be in it to notice how much shorter it could take off if they took off and <laughs> I don't know, that's insane. Alright, let's see if we can feel a difference here. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's just dragging the plane up into the air. Cleat coming in for the, the cool guy landing. Uh-huh. Right behind the trees. Look at my boy out here. This is the coolest freaking airport slash house ever. Look at that baby. Look at that. Oh, this propeller is sick. Well, it feels perfect. Definitely just peels the thing up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the angle you'll, of attack. You'll, yeah, you'll notice that it pulling. Oh, pulling. Sweet. She feel like she's pulling good, brother? I mean, it's just the only time for you to take a rib, George. <laughs> you guys wait here. <laughs> All right, we got a propeller on here. We got our 84 by 42 and a half. Yep. There you go. She's shining, works good. Just tested it out. We're gonna fly back to Bradenton now and then we'll test it in the front lot of the Freedom Factory when we get a chance. Might not get to do it before this weekend's event, but when we get back, we'll really put her to the test, try and do some max performance, short takeoffs. And that's exactly what this prop's gonna help us do. Oh yeah, I can feel the difference, because I got... 
I'm at 2400 RPM already and we're only going 85. Oof. Oh, we're still climbing though, so it might get a little better than that. It is not a speed demon. Not, not anymore. <laughs>